Webheads, before we get started today, last week on Top 10 Comic Book Covers, I got dinged from YouTube saying that I had an over-sexualized thumbnail. I don't know, guys. I'll let you be the judge of it. I've seen a lot worse on YouTube. Let me just tell you. Let me know in the comments below. Hey, all my webheads out there, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, I am your host, Mike Spider Slayer, always helping you make decisions on what comic books to buy. And today, guys, I am bringing you 2021's Top 10 Comic Book Covers of the Week. Fans, this is Week 36, and this is the YouTube series where you guys get to vote on your favorite comic book covers of the week based off of the top 10 I provide for you. Guys, it's a lot of fun, so thank you so much for participating. And even if you don't vote, thank you so much for watching. And before we get started, guys, if you want to become a Webhead member of the channel, Comic Book Corner 2.0, all you got to do is hit that join button right there on my home screen. Guys, it gives you extra perks. It also helps support the channel. So thank you in advance. All right, guys. So let's get started with this week, this week's covers and our results from last week. And last week was week 35. And the winner of last week wound up going to that controversial cover on my YouTube channel but it went to batman fear state alpha one this was that poison ivy variant uh this was the one where poison ivy was on there playing background really realistic looking cover very gorgeous and uh it pretty much dominated from all the other covers so congratulations poison ivy you make your return triumphant and you move on to the second round. Here we go. Let's kick off week 36. And week 36, number 10 book goes to Justice League Infinity issue 3. This is the main cover. This just reminds me of the Justice League cartoon series and you just get to see alternate versions of the heroes that you know and love facing off against each other. I thought that was kind of cool. You get to see two different Batmans, two Wonder Womans, two Supermans, you know, different versions of Hawkman. You got Hawkman, Hawk Girl, different Aquamans. I just thought it was a cool, fun cover. If you like this one, make sure you vote in the comments section below. Remember, guys, only one vote per person, and uh, you can't just like someone else's vote. You have to put it in that comment section below. So it's very important and that you do that. We move on to number nine, and number nine goes to Avengers, Tech on Avengers, issue two. This is the main cover. This is very similar to the issue one cover, so why not be on the countdown again, right? This is Captain America armor, Sentai-inspired book, as you get to see him clenching his fist and then he's got some kind of shield on there obviously right because when he activates it probably goes in this big circle and he's like ah, and he's got all these crazy powers like that's the imagination that, that i have going on there when it comes to avengers tech on it's a fun series i definitely suggest you guys reading it i thought it was cool i like the sentai inspired ideas here so if this one is your favorite Let's make sure you vote in the comment section below. Moving up on the countdown now, we move on to number eight. And number eight goes to Star Wars War of the Bounty Hunters issue four. This is the blueprint variant. This is something cool. Reminds me of something like from the 80s. You know, you would see on toys, especially like Transformers or something like that. Uh, and this one has Boba Fett on it and it has uh, Slave One and it has like the blueprints of the ship on there, which is thought was pretty cool. And it's got uh, Boba Fett on there as well. Again, this is something that would remind me of a toy that you would buy at a store and this would be the packaging. So I thought this was actually really cool. And if this one is your favorite, let's go ahead and vote. And now we go on to number seven. We have the me you love in the dark issue two. This is the Zoo Orzo variant A. So maybe this cover gives you a little bit more of an insight of what this book is going to be about. Now, does our main character fall in love with the ghost that is living in this house? I mean, here we get to see her hugging this spirit, right? And you don't see the spirit's face, 
who knows what's going to happen in this book we got very little in the first issue but i thought that this cover was very intriguing and has the reader guessing so i thought this one was really awesome if you do want to buy this cover it's actually in a variant uh excuse me in a virgin cover as well so yeah if you like this one though make sure you vote in the comment section below and we move on to number six guys and we move on to batman catwoman this is issue seven this is cover b done by jim lee and scott williams this is a variant cover this is just an awesome cover with bat and cat on there uh together on top of a rooftop building it's pouring down rain, there's uh, lightning in the background, and it looks like they're just patrolling the city. I love the detail that goes into it. Typical comic book cover when it comes to these two characters. Really cool. If this one is your favorite, let's go ahead and vote. So now we're cracking that top five, and we move on to Masters of the Universe Revelation. Uh, this is issue three. This is the Laurel Mar Laura Martin main cover. This is a really awesome cover where we get to see not only Evil Lynn on this cover, but you get to see Skeletor as he's holding his staff, and he gets to see all the Hordak troops in there as well, which I think is really badass. The only thing that kind of takes away from this cover is that stupid Netflix logo that's on there. Like, it like ruins the cover just like take that off of there and it would be a much better looking cover but nevertheless it's a gorgeous looking cover i love the way these characters look on here and if this one is your favorite let's make sure you vote climbing up the list here we move on to number four and number four goes to kiss phantom obsession issue two this is the main cover i love this cover as you get to see gene simmons looking down and he's got that long ass tongue obviously they make him like this demon and it's Kiss is that perfect band for, you know, to make them a comic book, right? They've been around for years, and uh, this is the perfect person to do it. And you got to love the artistic, you know, paint on the character and everything. Makes them look very demonic. And it's not overly complex. It's very simple cover. So if this one is your favorite, let's make sure you vote. Now we move on to number three. And number three is the Army of Darkness 1979. This is cover B done by Sudam. And uh, this is awesome because it's like a zombie apocalypse happening in New York and Ash is on top of the Statue of Liberty fighting off the zombie horde. It is awesome. And these zombies are dressed like obviously in the 70s you get to see like their funky looking hair and you get to see them wearing their bell bottoms it's so cool man but he's just being overrun by these guys and he's got to try to knock them off with his shotgun and his freaking chainsaw attached to his arm really great looking cover love the details on if on this one and if it's your favorite you know what to do you got to vote Coming in at number two, this is a nice cover. This one goes to the Swamp Thing, issue seven, cover B, done by Francisco Montina. This is the cardstock variant. Here we get to see Swamp Thing kind of rising from the swamp, and you get to see the details in his face. It's absolutely amazing. Red eyes, red nose, and he's being targeted because you can see all the scopes on his head, and then you just get to see the crosshair there, and it just says, target acquired so someone is hunting down swamp thing i'm not currently reading the series i do hear good things about it but nevertheless reading it or not it's a great looking cover and if this one is your favorite you know what you gotta do moving on to number one and i love this and it's not overly complex, right? And this one goes to the Amazing Spider-Man issue 73, Joe Jusco variant. This is just your classic Spider-Man comic book, right? Cover. It is great. Look at the details here at Spidey. He's shooting his um, webs at you, and he's got the reflection in his eyes going there, and you just get to see the uh, webbing being sprung out, and it just looks awesome. And for some reason, like, that orange background really makes Spider-Man pop. And look at the muscle definition on Spider-Man. Like, look at his obliques and his chest and everything. They, they make him 
look so dynamic. It's awesome. I really enjoyed this cover. I was like, for some reason, this Spider-Man cover works for me, and it was my number one. Great cover. Again, not overly complex, and if this one is your favorite, let's make sure you vote in the comments section below. So guys, there you have it. There are my top 10 comic book covers of the week. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Now I want to know which one is your favorite because remember, it's super important to vote. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your Labor Day weekend. And until next time, guys, I'm going to leave you more content right here to, to check out. If you like this video, give it a like, thumbs up, subscribe. Until then, I'll see you in that next video. Bye, guys.